Hey guys, and welcome to another new Let's Play. Let's play Half May Hero 2, The Second Coming. If you haven't seen my first LP of Half May Hero, basically what this game series is, is it's an RPG. Made of, of stages, each basically which you have a timeline of 30 seconds. It works a lot better than you think, but let's get started. Uh, I want a new file. So, also the music in this series rocks. Like, literally, the music is amazing. I mean, just listen to it. But anyways, we're gonna start our story mode. And we begin where the last game ended. Also, my hero was not wearing that. Also, yes, the canon names are, in fact, Hero, Evil Lord, Knight, and Princess. Alright, let's do this. Again. Although the music is different. So then, this is how the game- actually no, this isn't a good example of how the game works. Let's just get up here. Heh, <laughs> hedgehogs. But anyways, how battles work is you literally just run into enemies and they each take damage. The game is extremely fast paced. And hopefully with my new editing, it will be in 60 frames per second. Oh, there goes Knight. He'll be fine. Also, if we hold B, we can run even faster. And smack into him even faster. Also, no, there is no way to lose this battle. And the Evil Lord was never that helpful in the real game. And that's how Half May Hero 1 ended. Also, this game does have an 8-bit theme going on. Actually, it's not really 8-bit, it's more 16-bit. With, like, 8-bit character design. Also, they're showing the Japanese footage. But that's a good example of how the game works. Unfortunately, one thing I don't like about Half Man Hero 2 is they got rid of all the extra game modes. Everything is Hero 30 now. So we don't got Princess 30, which was honestly my favorite part of, this, of that game, which is being shown right now. Night 30 though, eh, it was okay. And Evil Lord 30 was also kind of okay. And in the center of all of this is the Time Goddess. And it takes place about a hundred years after the first game, because the first game ended at around Goddess Era 500. And this game takes place and starts in Goddess Era 600. Whoops, no, don't skip the movie. Why did you give me that option? But we get to name our characters. Uh, I'm going to keep the default names, although they are kind of confusing. Basically, they're all play where they're playing around the word Yusha. Which is the Japanese word for hero. So we got Yusha as our main character. Basically in, Jap in Japanese, his name is Hero. And that doesn't look nice. Oh hey, that looks familiar. But we got a hero here. And he is only level 1. Also, who are you talking to? And we got some friends with us this time. That is one thing they do add to this game. Parties! You actually do get party members. So we got Yashu, 
y Yusha, and got yeah, the names are gonna get kind of confusing. They have a lot of Y names in this game. And guys, our tutorial, man. All right, before we do anything, though, uh, no, wait, we don't have access to the option screen. But one thing this game does do differently than uh, Half Man Hero 1 is that it actually has a giant world map. The first game had a basically point and click where you wanted to go. In this game, there's actually places to explore. But not right now. Right now, we're just gonna go into the castle. Let's see what these people have to say. Sounds like the king has a quest for us, though. Okay, fine. Alright, we got some monsters to kill. But yeah, monsters are always uh, displayed on the world map. And we got some party members. Alright, let's combat. So yeah, how combat works in this game is literally, it's automatic. Just run into them and they die. Also, if you hold B, you can run. In real battle, or in real stages though, this drains your HP. That is one thing I do like. They got rid of the random encounters. Now you can see all your enemies. We just killed wolves. They're not that hard to kill. And we've got our first stage. And our first user of the Spell of Destruction. Alright, we've got 30 seconds. We can do this. He's right over there. Yep. Let's do this. So we need to get to that village real quick. Let's go. But yeah, if we hold B, we kind of have our HP drain. But we run stupidly fast. It's going to be kind of my default mode of uh, movement. Oh, hi, Time Goddess. It's been a while. Yeah, we only have 22 seconds left. And, of course, as a Time Goddess, time is money. And with her, yeah, basically we have to pay money to get time. Which I guess is kind of clever. Nah. Nah. Yeah, it's a but thou must situation. Yes, we will join you. And if you're in a town or a castle, time doesn't move. Alright, we still have like 30 seconds, I think. And we got our first stage. Alright, so how gameplay flow works is... Oh, wait. We got tutorial. And yeah, we can buy items. But that costs money. And guy's kind of an idiot. So, I'm gonna buy an herb real quick. What do you guys have to say? Nothing useful. Good. Good, thank you. So how game flow works is... We run into enemies... And we level up. We level up stupidly quickly, by the way. Oh crap, uh, we're out of enemies. I need more food, thank you. Herbs always restore your HP to max. So, we need to grind a bit. Okay, we're higher than the evil now. Now we can go kill the evil lord. This one is basically a tutorial mission. It's really impossible to lose. And, of course, he has a wing. Well, that was easy. And with that, we are done with this area. And every time you beat a level, you actually do get to keep some of your gold. Most of it goes to the Time Goddess, but we get to keep some of it. And also, even when we're out of a level, we can still fight things. And if we do, we get an actual experience. So yeah, G level is global level, so that's the level you start off every level at. Right now, we're still only one. Uh... 
Nah, I'm gonna save my money for the for the uh for the herbs. I don't need that many herbs. Also, oh right, we should. I was just gonna go to the next level, but we should probably go see what the king has to say about this. Yep, we beat him in 30 seconds. As far as you know. Oh, we got one more left we need to take care of. Oh my. Alright, time to head east. Uh, sh I should probably heal at some point, but I kind of want to kill some stuff first. We're not going to get a level out of this, but oh well. Whoops. No, buy the herb. Thank you. Let's go. So then, stage two. Hey, <laughs> last remnant. I think that was a Square Soft RPG or Square Enix RPG. You look exactly the same. And he's level thirty. Great. All right, so we have 30 seconds. Let's get started. All right, so the first thing you want to do in every stage, though, is head straight for the village. Usually that's where you're going to get information and some stuff. Heh, <laughs> they all look exactly the same. All right, what do you got to say to us? Also, Yashu is kind of a bitch. Although he's a guy. Guy, where are you going? And here is where the money comes into play. I love the Time Goddess, by the way. She's kind of my favorite character in the game. Yep, so based on how Time Goddess statues work is, you pay money and they turn the clock back to 30 seconds. And every time you use them, they go up by 100. And you level up a lot faster during quests, or during, uh, actual missions. I love you, guy. Anyways, let's do this. Oh god, we need to heal. And at the beginning of every mission, the Time Goddess will pretty much tell us what we need to do. And basically what the color of the monsters are determines uh, how strong they are. The red ones will probably kill us right now. Those guys are pretty much neutral. Those guys will be tough. Oh wait, Time Goddess is explaining it for me. Yeah, don't attack the red monsters. Alright, so we need to get to about level 30-ish. But before we do that, I kind of want to heal. Uh, what do you have to say to us? Oh. Alright, <laughs> he'll be done with them in 10 seconds. Yeah, there are a lot of time-based uh, things in this game. Basically, certain things are available at certain times. So he'll have a sword available in about 10 seconds. Uh, I already have an herb. So let's start killing stuff. Alright, we got a level. Uh, time to heal. 
Let's start taking out these guys. Also, they're not wolves, they're rats. And running drains your HP really quickly. Nope, still not available. Need to wait a bit more. Also, once you're strong enough, you can literally just plow through certain enemies. Uh, seven seconds. We have time for another run. Oh god, we're running out of time. Still have enough time. Nope. Okay, there we go. Perfect. You want to have as little time available as possible before uh, praying. Ooh, that's expensive though. Alright, we're going to need to grind money. Also, we're strong enough now, so we can start taking on these guys. Oh wait, I'm almost dead. Heal time. So we need about 700 gold to safely do everything. Whoops, I died. We'll be fine though. Heal, and once you're out of HP, you can't run anymore. Ooh, what do you have for me? Guy, now is not the time. We only have 13 seconds. Yeah, uh, actually no, I think we saw that earlier. Ooh, that sounds interesting. Well then, we'll go check that tree out in a minute. Actually no, we don't even have a minute. We'll check it out in a second. What do you have to say? Uh, oh, he only appears when it's under 10 seconds. Also, apparently they tell time via seconds in this world. This world is just really freaking fast. Also, we only have 9 seconds. We should probably head back to the village, like, now. Actually, we have 4 seconds. There we go. Perfect. I'm gonna grab the sword. Thank you. I'm going to turn back time, going to grab an herb, and then I'm going to go grind more. So I want to wait until about 10 seconds remaining, then we can go fight that rare monster. But for now, I'm just going to kill everything I run across. Yeah, we're kind of really strong now. Also, we have a lot of HP. Oh wait, it's time. Heal. Let's go see it. There it is. Oh my god, it's a metal slime. And oh my god, we're already level... Yeah, we're gonna do this. Ah, uh, Risking it. There we go. We got two enemies out of that. We're almost level 32. There we go. We are now stronger than evil. Let's go kill him. Hey, buddy. We're kind of level 33 now. And you're only level 30. Goodbye. Well, that was fun. Yes, you are. But that's the basic flow of the game. Oh, I should have played some more. I like that song. But yeah, your level automatically gets reset after every mission. Alright, I already explained the uh, global level. And of course, yeah, she takes a ton of our money. And yeah, we only get to keep 10%. Although, it is kind of useful outside of battle. No. I always wonder what she does with all the money. But anyways, let's kill some stuff so we can gain some global level. And I think we'll end the episode, like, around here. Also, hi, Lone Tree. Let's just murder everything, and now we're level 2. So now we'll start at level 2 for every mission. It's actually really important that you grind a little bit between missions. And by that, I mean just kill everything you see. 
later missions, it's gonna expect you to be a higher level. So then, oh wait. I was gonna end the episode, but I guess we got another mission started right away. Normally it tells you when you start a mission. There's our next mission. But we're not gonna head there right away. We're gonna end the episode here. So next time on Let's Play Half Made Hero 2, we start mission 3. Although I'm not sure what we're gonna do considering we kinda killed all the evil lords already. So until then, also all of you are still injured. And you're asleep. Great. Also I should buy- no way I already have nerve. Never mind.